Hello team and welcome to today's video. We're going to be discussing adding a sequence of rows in Excel. And when you need to create a sequence, I don't recommend going row by row and entering the numbers as that's going to take too long and require too many adjustments. As an alternative option, you could try flash fill, but then you'll have to continue to increase the length as far down as you need for your data. And additionally, this method will not be dynamic. So if I delete the design website project, notice that my project numbers now skip from two to four. So instead of these methods, let's try using a formula. We'll start with the sequence formula. Double click to enter that in. After adding in sequence, we'll add the count a formula. And adding this helps us count the number of cells with data contained automatically. I'll click the entire column C so that I don't have to keep adjusting the length, two close parentheses, and then click enter. Upon entering this formula, you will notice that the sequence goes one beyond where I want it to, where my projects end. And that's because we have this title cell for project as the column header. To fix this, we can enter a negative one after the column range. Click enter, and now you'll notice all my project numbers are aligned to projects correctly. Now if I add another project, you'll see the project number gets added automatically. And if I remove a project line, I'll remove the record podcast line. The project numbers again update automatically and stay in the correct sequence. What if I want to add text in front of the sequence I've created? Let me head back to the formula and in front of the equal sign, in quotations, I can add project with a space another quotation mark, and then the ampersand symbol. Now when I click enter, instead of just a number appearing, I have project number appearing before each of my items. Before we wrap up, let me show you one additional great way to use the sequence formula. I wanna add a project start date that has two week increments to give myself some time between each project. I'll begin by entering the sequence function, then again count A, Use column C for the value, close parentheses, then we'll insert minus one to account for the top row. After another comma, Excel is asking for columns, which is an optional field for the number of columns to return. I'll enter one. For the start in quotations, I'll type the current date because that's when these projects will begin. After a final comma, I wanted this to be every two weeks, so I will enter 14 for 14 days, close parentheses and click enter. After clicking enter, you'll see we got these what appear to be random numbers here, but that's just because we have these cells formatted as general. So highlight over the cells, go to the formatting tab here, and select the date format you prefer. Now one final time, if I add a new project, you'll see both the start date and project number are automatically updated. I hope you enjoyed these tips. Please like and subscribe to the channel and leave comments about additional tips you'd like to see covered.